Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cop Tool. I'm Zach, and today with me is Neil. Neil, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. So what are you building today? So today what we're gonna build is called a Kentucky stick chair. It's actually a really popular chair. Um, if you look on the internet, you'll find builds for them all over, plans to build them. So all you really need is a handful of two by twos and some simple hardware. Do we have two by twos here ready to go? Uh, not yet. So like most people, we got a bunch of two by fours hanging around and we're gonna cut them down the middle. Okay, probably using some sort of table saw or so ideally, yeah, we're going to yeah. have a table saw, okay. but we don't have one hanging around, so we're going to use a circular saw today. Okay. So how do you rip a 2x4 with a circular saw? So we looked all over the internet for good ways to rip it down the middle safely without cutting your hand off. Mm -hmm. And um, what we're going to do is build a jig. One of our viewers, uh, Larry from Huntsville, Alabama, sent us a great jig that we can use to do this. Can you tell me how this jig works? Yeah, so what we did is take a 2x4 and cut a notch about a half inch deep into the wood, just <coughs> slightly wider than the 2x4 that you're going to cut. And on the opposite end, we clamp it down to the table, which gives us a pivot point which these boards can rotate. And we place them about four feet apart. When you place your 2x4 in the notches and apply any pressure forward or backwards, it actually clamps the board in place and keeps it from moving forward or up out of your jig. Okay, and did it work? It worked great. We set it up in a matter of 20 minutes and cut several 2x4s, no problem. So Neil, now that we have our 2x2s, what's next? So next what we got to do is cut these to size here. For any of you trying to build this at home, we'll have complete details and dimensions in the description below. The next thing we need to do is just mark off and drill all of our holes. So we've cut and drilled all our holes. What's the next step? So first we're going to lay out the seat. All right, so now that we have everything laid out, what is the next step? So next we need to string together our seat section here. And I already have uh, four pieces of wire here cut up and ready to go, so we can go ahead and do that. Okay, great. All right, so now that we have our wires thread through, what is the next step? So next we have to thread through our back end here. Okay. So next we space these about one block apart and then we're going to pick this up and drop it over top. Okay. So we're going to clamp these on the ends but not too tight just so we can flip it over and get it standing upright. All right, so now we're just going to unfold it and stand it up. And then so we tighten these middle ones for the seat, but the top and the back are going to have to come a lot closer together here. Well, it looks like a chair. Let's give it a try. Kind of feels like a chair, too. Yeah. It's actually quite, kind of comfortable, man. Well, Neil, we built a chair. Yeah, it looks pretty neat, and it's a lot more comfortable than I thought it'd be. And it was, I mean, aside from cutting the wood and drilling the holes, I mean, it really took no time at all, and the assembly was pretty quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what, do, what do you think about these wires? What, what would you do about these? Um, ideally, you're going to cut these off and file it down so you don't lose a leg walking past it. But um, I think we ought to take it apart and maybe stain it and put a finish on it. I think this thing will look pretty cool. Okay. What about for outdoor use? What would you recommend for that? Definitely, if you're going to put it outside, put a stain on this thing. If you sand it down, too, it'll definitely help with uh, 
how much how easy it folds. So some of these edges are kind of rough here and a little rough on your legs. It definitely look really good if you stained it and painted this thing. Okay. Neil, thanks so much for joining us today and help me build this chair. You bet. Folks, if you'd like to build your own chair, head over to coptool.com where plans are available. And don't forget that we took this opportunity to test these circular saws. Click the link below to check out the video. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.